Yeah, hello everyone. Welcome back. Today I have picked up a question from the past papers on the chief mates uh, phase one, and the question is about finding GM fluid of a triangular vessel. So let's see what the question is and how do we attempt this kind of a question. Transverse cross sectional area of ship of length forty meter is a triangle with apex down. The base and depth of this triangle are 12 meter and 9 meter respectively. The ship is floating in fresh water to a draft of 6 meter and has kg of 5 meters. She loads 600 tons of cargo kg 10 meters determine the GM fluid in final condition and if the FSM of the ship was on 56 ton meter. So here is the drawing which we can carefully study. Uh, see this is that ship and its cross-sectional area is an triangle with apex down. So this is inverted triangle with apex down. And the length is 40 meters. Presently she is floating at draft of 6 meters. So this is 6 meters, this is the initial water line WL before loading and the draft 6 meters. So after this, this is the initial condition and then she loads 600 tons of cargo. So of course the ship will sink further and the new water line will be W1 L1. This will be new water line and the new draft will be D, marked here as D, that will be the final draft and the water plane, depth of the water plane that in the final condition will be B from here to here, yes, B marked as B, this is the breadth of the water plane in the final condition. Now in the initial condition, breadth of the water plane in fact, the half breadth is X, breadth is complete RT. RT is the initial breadth of the water plane. Okay, and half breadth mark there is X. Complete uh, uh, triangle, base of the triangle is 12 meters. So, this is the center line and 6 meters and 6 meters on each side of the center line. And the depth of the triangle is 9 meters. So in this case, to find the final condition GM fluid, we need the final KM as well as final KG. Okay. Most of the times we are used to like thinking that KM can be you not know, taken out for the initial condition and like assume constant. No. In this case, you cannot because it's a triangle. You see the an inverted triangle. The KM is increasing as for the draft and the breadth of the water plane. So we must find KM for the new water line, final condition and also the KG. So let's focus first on the initial condition. So we need to know the what is the initial displacement of the vessel. So, there are two similar triangles here. The big, tri big triangle is P, Q, K and the small one is R, S, K. Okay, R, S is the half breadth of the water plane. R, T is the complete breadth. So, as per the similar triangles, their ratios, the sides of their, uh, the ratio of their sides are equal. So, if I take half of the big triangle, 6 meters, and upon 9 meters, this is the big triangle P, Q, K, 6 upon 9, and then I take the small one, which is X, which is R, S, is the half breadth, and upon the height of the triangle, 
as the side perpendicular height which is KS and that is the current draft, initial draft 6. Okay, PQ upon QK is equal to RS upon SK. SK is the initial draft of the ship which is 6 meters and I am half breadth of the water plane I mark here as x. Okay, so 6 upon 9 is equal to x upon 6. These are these two triangles similar ratios. So if I solve this, I get x is equal to 4 meters. x is a half breadth of the water plane so the full breadth of the water plane at initial draft of 6 meter is 2x which is 4 meters so so at 2 2x will be 2 into 4 8 meters okay x is 4 and twice the x will be 8 meters. This is the initial breadth of the water plane at draft 6 meter. Also, we will be using this property, uh, this formula of transverse BM of a triangular vessel. Uh, the vessel and uh, cross section area is triangle but if you see the water plane if you look at the water plane is a rectangle so the i moment of inertia of the rectangular water plane will apply so transverse bm is moment of inertia transverse also called second moment of the area from the, of the center line of the vessel divided by the underwater volume, volume of displacement. So for a rectangular water plane, moment of inertia transverse, transverse moment of inertia is L B cube upon 12. And V is the underwater volume, volume of displacement. So this uh, volume of displacement, now under the, under the water, the cross section is a triangle. So what will the volume of a triangular prism area of the triangle multiply by the length of the ship. So the area of the triangle is half base into height. So here the height is the draft. Okay. So the area is half base into Height. So base B is the water plane, width of the water plane and D is the draft and multiply by the length. That will give the underwater volume. Okay, and LB cube upon 12 is the moment of inertia. So if you just uh, simplify this, it becomes B square upon 6B. So the transverse BM will be breadth, square of the breadth of the water plane upon 6 times the draft. Okay. B is the breadth of the water plane and D is the draft. So B square upon 6D will be the transverse BM. Now let's find the initial displacement. Initial displacement is underwater volume into density of the seawater. Underwater volume, as I explained, area of the triangle which is formed by the water plane so that will be half and base of the triangle will be the breadth of the water plane 8 which we found before into the height of the triangle will be the initial draft 6 area of the cross section multiplied by the length 40 meters gives the underwater volume density of fresh water is 1 ton per cubic meter so this gives me the initial displacement 960 tons. Now we will find the final kg. So make the table weight kg and vertical moment. 
initial displacement I found 960. Initial kg is given in the question 5 meters. So multiply weight into kg 4800 is a vertical moment. Cargo loaded 600 tons. Kg is 10 meters. So vertical moment will be 600 multiply by 10, 6000. So final displacement will be 960 plus 600, 1560 tons. Final vertical moment because cargo is loaded, so added 10800 ton meter. What's the final kg? Final vertical moment upon final displacement. So 10800 upon 1560 gives 6.923 meter. This is the final kg after loading. FSC, they have given FSM. FSM is being given as 156. So, FSM in the final condition will be FSM upon final displacement. 156 upon 1560 is the final displacement, 0 0.1 meter. So, we will use this later on when we find the GM fluid. Now, our next job is to find the after loading of the cargo, what is the final draft and breadth of the water plane? Because final KM will be final KB plus final BM. For final KB, I need final draft. For final BM, I need final breadth of the water plane. So I need to find both draft and breadth of the water plane. So we can make two equations here. Now again, going back to the same triangle of properties of similar triangles. Now this time, the new triangle is formed by the breadth of the new water plane B and the new draft, final draft D. So ratio will be same again. So big triangle 12, 12 meter is a big triangle upon 9. The depth 12 upon 9 will give B upon D. Okay. Again, we have the similar triangles. So, B upon D, breadth of the water plane upon draft is equal to 12 upon 9. So, I simplify this and I get D is equal to 3 by 4 of the breadth of the water plane. I call it equation number 1. Now, I know my final displacement 1560. So, what will be final displacement? Final underwater volume into density of the seawater. Final underwater volume will be again area of the triangle, which is a cross section is a triangle. So area of the triangle into length. That will be the final underwater volume. So what will be the area of that triangle? Half base will be the breadth of the water plane and height will be the draft. So half B into D. B is the breadth of the water plane and D is the draft. This is the area of the triangular cross section in the final condition. Multiply by the length gives me the volume and then multiply by 1 which is the density of the fresh water. 1 ton per cubic meter gives the displacement. This is equal to 1560 final displacement tons. Okay. Simplify this, I get B into D is equal to 78. That is equation number 2. So, I just, you can insert value of any one now. I inserted the value of D draft from number 1 equation. D is equal to 3B upon 4. So, in, instead of draft, I put 3 times B upon 4. So, B into 3B upon 4 is equal to 78. It gives me B square is equal to 104. Take the square root B is equal to 10.198 meter or 10.2 meter also will be okay. You can write 10.2 meters or 10.198 meters. Now insert the value of B here. So insert the value of B here 10.198. So 3 into 3 by 4 into 10.198 gives me the draft. 3 by 4 into 10.198. 7.649 meter is the final draft.
So I get the final breadth of the water plane 10.198, final draft 7.649, and I am ready to find the KB and BM. It's an inverted triangle, so KB will be from the apex, it will be two third of the draft. Draft is 7.649, two third of the draft gives me 5.099 meter KB. Transfer BM, as we saw earlier, B square upon 6D. B is the breadth of the water plane. So, breadth of the water plane is 10.198 into 10.198 divided by 6 times the draft, the new draft 7.649. So, I get 2.267 meter final transfers BM. Transfers KM, final condition will be final KB plus final transfers BM. So, final KB is 5.099, transfer BM is 2.267, KM 7.366 meters. KG is given in the KG, we have found final KG 6.923. So, I subtract, I get GM solid 0.443, FSE I have found earlier was 0.1, subtract that. So, you get GM fluid 0.343. So this is the answer. So only thing what was tested here that you must know that uh, you have to find the KM also, not only the final KG. You cannot use final KG with initial KM. That will be the mistake made by most of the people that they will the initial breadth of the water plane and the, and the draft you may find the KM with that and then use that KM to get the final GM fluid, that will be wrong. If you see, you can yourself see that if you use that KM, initial draft, 6 meter KM, you will get the negative GM. Whereas in the reality, the KM has increased with the draft and this is how we find the new KB and new BM for the new draft. Okay, that's all for this question. You can go through this video again. It's just been picked up from the past papers. Okay. Thank you very much and uh, wait for my new next video.